In this last tutorial, I want to show you how you can easily rearrange modules and topics. Think of modules as folders in Angel. Topics are going to be the individual pieces of content like in Angel, but they're called topics. And those topics can include um, anything like a quiz, a page of text, a link. Those are all considered topics. Um, if you haven't already looked at the video tutorials on creating new modules and creating sub-modules, I would suggest that you go and do that um, so that you have an idea of how you can create those particular things um, before you want to rearrange topics. But if you have your topics and your modules all set, it's very easy to rearrange them and move them from one to another. So what I have here is come into the course and I've come on to the content page uh, and the content area. You can get to it under resources and content. Um, you can also get to it uh, if you're on your course home page. So if I'm on the course home, I can click on this content browser link and that would take me into the content um, itself. Again, once you come into it, one of the things that's going to happen is that it will remember where you were the last time you come back into the content. So I happen to be on this important dates uh, module and in this particular case that's where it ended up with that. So I want to go back to the table of contents. I click on the table of contents and that's going to show me all the contents. And it will remember what you had done last time. So in one of the previous tutorials I had clicked on uh, collapse all which would then collapse all of the modules so it's not so overwhelming and then I can open them up individually. So let me show you how it is, is you can rearrange modules. It's very, very simple to do. Uh, rearranging modules, simply using the table of contents area here. Each one of these modules will have a three arrows or three lines next to it. And you put your mouse over it, it turns to a four, ar four arrowed cursor. And you simply take that and drag it up. Uh, you'll notice that a couple things. If I want to move the module into another module, I put it over top of it and that would create a sub-module. If I want to move a module to um, up on the top level in the content area, I move it in between so that it has a little line that goes through it and I, drop, I drag and drop it and it will move it up to that specific point and you'll see that it updates right there and moves it up. So that's how you could rearrange modules. What's really nice is rearranging um, content or topics. So here's a topic that happens to be in important dates. This is a, another module that doesn't have any content in it. So if I click on important dates over here, this may be an easier way to do it. You'll see that I have one topic in here and no topics in here. I can just simply take that and drag it and drag it and drop and it moves that topic into that module. Now that's within a module. If I want to move um, one from another module into a different one, um, again, I can just click on this one that has important dates on it here. And let's say I want to move it into the case studies module. I just take that one and drag and drop it over that. It moves it in very easily, very simple. So dragging and dropping, rearranging, uh, content is a very simple process in Desire to Learn.